Shalom. This is the brother Karadazar coming to with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is Eve's Wickedness or Wicked Eve. And with that said, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from where I learned this truth and continue to do so every day. Much respect to the hopeful elect and shalom on to you few brothers and sisters that listen and watch my videos and get edified. All right. So I'm going to let y'all watch this short video and I'm going to break out some scripts. Yes, you can collect off your ex-husband since you were married long enough. You had to be married at least 10 years. But he's younger than you, and that presents its own problems. So you can typically draw Social Security as early as age 62. But if you're going to draw off of him, because half of his is more than all of yours, then he has to be at least 62 as well. So since he's younger, if you need the money and you're not working, you can go ahead and draw yours at 62. And while I normally say you can't switch between yours and your spouse's in this situation, you can. So you can draw yours for a couple of years, and then when he reaches the age of 62, he does not need to be drawing Social Security. He might say, I'm not going to draw till I'm 70. That's okay. As long as he reaches the age of 62, you can now switch to his and give yourself a raise. All right, so you heard that, right? That's a wicked Eve right there talking about how she can give herself a raise off of your Social Security after she done put herself away. I don't know whether she put herself away or her husband put herself away. But in the scriptures, if you put yourself away or your husband put yourself away, you leave with nothing. You know, you ain't supposed to be going and, 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 and taking your your husband's money, but that's how this, this world, this wicked world operates, you know what I'm saying, it's in favor of the woman, you know, he did, he daddy Esau, you know, he likes, he likes confusion, all right, so with that said, let's get into some scriptures, and Lord willing, you find this edifying, so we're going to go into the book of Ecclesiastes is 25 and 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. All right? So that's true, you know? All the wickedness is little to the wickedness of a woman. All right? So let's go into Proverbs 31 and 3. Give not thy strength unto, unto woman nor thy way to that which destroyeth kings. All right? So don't give all your strength unto a woman and thy way, thy ways to which destroyeth kings. And we all know is that uh, one way that a man could be destroyed is by giving his all to a woman and following after her ways. All right? And that was that was that that's that's always been a big thing is that, you know, Israelite men have always been known to be going off by following Eve and not staying staying strong on you know, simping, standing strong on his own too. You know, Adam did it, King Solomon did it, he, he went off by following his 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 concubines. He went and he he started burning incense and sacrificing you know, at altars. To, to, to idols, all right, to their, to his his concubines, you know, idols, in which we know is idol worship. And Adam, he simp because he listened to his wife. So our men have a history of going off by listening to the woman. So let's go into another script. This is Ecclesiastes 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given to the portion of a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. All right. 
So if your woman, a godly, a godly woman is giving him fear, fear the Lord. So if you fear the Lord, your woman's gonna fear the Lord. But if but if you don't fear the Lord, your woman gonna be wicked, wicked as all hell as well. All right, and you know that's the portion. And this is Matthew nineteen and six. Wherefore there are no more twain but one flesh. What therefore the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua has joined together, let no man put asunder. So there's no way that you're supposed to be divorce, divorcing your wife anyway, unless you find some type of uncleanness. There's no way you're supposed to put your wife away unless you find some type of uncleanness. So you ain't supposed to be putting your woman away unless you find some type of uncleanness. There's no way, you know. So it says, let no man put asunder. So that means a court, a judge. That means nobody. Nobody's supposed to get and put put you, put 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 let you put your woman away unless you find some uncleanness in her. And that's adultery. She doing some type of wickedness. All right. Let's go to uh, 1 John 2, 3, and 4. And hereby we do know that we know him. And if we keep his commandments, he that saith, I know him, and keep not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So, you know, that goes for people who say that they keep in the commandments. You know, those saying that they keep in the commandments and they don't keep the commandments, which is in the scriptures, which is what I'm talking about, which is uh, divorce, putting your wife away. You know, the truth is not in him. They are lying. The truth is not in them. And we're going to go to uh, Proverbs 5 and 3. For the lips of a strange woman drop as drop as an honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end, so like I don't have this up, but let's see. Now nah, I do. Uh, but her end is bitter. Salakia. Okay, it's there. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of her life. Salakia, of life, her ways are movable that thou canst not know them. So, for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb. Her words are sweet. The words that come out of her mouth is sweet. And as you can see in the video, it sounds good. It sounds enticing. You know, she's saying how you can get your money up and all that stuff. That's a wicked woman, the strange woman. And as you can see, you know, she looks like an Edomite. So that's a strange woman. Her mouth is smoother than oil. So the words that come out, they real slick. All right. Her words are real slick, but the end. But her end is bitter as wormwood, and wormwood is a is bitter. All right, it has a bitter flavor. It is a shrub that has a bit that produces a bitter flavor. That's what wormwood wormwood is. All right, and it's sharp, and as sharp as a two edged sword. You know, so her words, her end is bitter as wormwood. So. When you follow her, you know, you're going to have a bitter end. It's, it's, it's as bitter as wormwood and sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. So the only way, the only only path this is leading you is down a path of destruction. And that's for y'all sisters out there. Don't follow these heathen, these heathen women and their heathen customs. All right, that's not our culture. This is not the way. That's not the laws and statutes that we follow, and that's not the commandments. And this is this is not our culture. This is not what we what we about. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of of life. Her ways are movable. All right, and her ways are movable. That that thou canst not canst not know them. So her, her ways are shaky. And she deceives and don't and, and, and she deceives 
And those she, those she deceives don't even know. So like this type of woman, she, it sounds good. And pe and women, there's going to be women out there that's going to listen to this. And she's going to deceive you that this is a good a good thing to do. And it's, it's, it's a good thing to do. But the people ain't going to know they being deceived. This is wickedness, pure wickedness. That's not even your husband. That's your ex-husband. And you going and going into and going and, and taking his money, collecting on his money, so you can have an early retirement. And that's how this world is. This world is so wicked, so upside down. So let's go into another script, and let me see what we got here. This is Proverbs 7. And 24. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thy heart decline to her ways, and not go and ways go not astray in her paths. For she has cast down many wounded, and many and many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell going down to the chambers of death. All right. So that's talking about a wicked woman, you know, these wicked women. All right. So Lord willing, I didn't, uh, Ramble too long, and you brothers and sisters found this lesson edifying. Shalom to the next lesson.